Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's the Real Catholic Kirk here. We're live from One Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is Veterans Day, so happy veterans to all the veterans out there. Again, uh, God bless you. It's also, uh, we got another uh, geomagnetic storm, a CME, a coronal mass injection, ejection from the sun. Um, we had one last here earlier this week. Again, it was a G3 level storm, and that actually took auroras all the way uh, deep into the Parts of the U.S. here, you know, well south uh, into the Virginia, North Carolina, Central U.S. So this one's a G2, uh, but you never know. Sometimes these can be stronger than forecast. So something to look for. Typically, it's around midnight local time is when you'd have the best chance of seeing the auroras in the north northeastern part of the sky. Uh, typically, so something to look for tonight. Again, speaking of the sun here, we are in solar cycle 25. It goes for a very rev regular. About 11-year cycle, again, a very strong sunspot activity, which just leads to more energy coming to the Earth and ultimately can lead up to warming the oceans. Uh, so we're heading into the, the peak of solar cycle 25 here. Um, it's nowhere near as strong as what we saw back in the, the 80s or the 57, 1957 or 1836 or 1778. So it's a um, weak solar cycle, maybe not as weak as last year's, very weak uh, last, uh, last year's, uh, well, the last solar cycle 24 was actually one of the weakest in over 100 plus years. So again, um, maybe even 300 years in some some regards. Um, so again, a little stronger than forecast. Red line there, far right, is that uh, forecast. So uh, we'll see. This is uh, the next few months to a year is going to be, uh, again, potentially more aurora activity. We look at the last week world summer here, 5 through 11 November here, ending here today. Uh, here in the U.S., uh, after a cold week last week, again, warmer this past week. 1.6 warmer than last year. Warmest in seven years. Third, hottest in 38 years. So much above average there. Dry, minus 67% drier than last year. Dry in seven, seventh dry in 38. Snowfall also way down, 93% less than last year. Least in seven, fourth least in 38. So these are not good trends for uh, retail seasonal sales. If uh, there was any good news here, now again, this big map is trends versus last year, how our retail customers look at it. So if there's a bright spot, it would be the, the Northeast. Again, it was colder than last year and a little bit below average in part of New England uh, into um, Eastern Canada there. Across the pond in the UK, uh, they are actually pretty cold. So they had one of the biggest changes, 7.4 colder than last year. Colds in four years, near average, but again, a good trend there. Um, so again, uh, maps inset left are the trends versus average. If we look at current snow cover here this morning, again, uh, way down 6.7%, uh, which do notice is that uh, not as much snow there in the Rockies compared to last year. We had 24% of the country um, covered in snow. Uh, but we see a little more snow there in uh, eastern Canada. So it's uh, putting down the snowpack a, a little earlier here in the northeast Great Lakes. We think that will become a theme this winter. Um, so if there's going to be a snowy spot, um, we are really liking the um, eastern Great Lakes, northeast, and even mid-Atlantic. Uh, so again, a snowy winter here. We think the snowies in 10 years here uh, on a national scale with a uh, nor'easter, nor El Nino type track. If we look at uh, here this week, again, week prior to Thanksgiving, so... Um, Again, warm is the theme here for sure. 15.8 degrees warmer than last year. Last year was very cold, second coldest in decades. Uh, so wholesale change, uh, 15.8 warmer, number one warmest in 38 years. So a hot week here this week. This is really bad news for seasonal sales. You know, you're not thinking about buying some of those uh, cold seasonal gears when it's this warm. Snowfall non-existent, 99% less than last year, uh, number one least in 38. And um, rainfall up, 67% wetter. Again, very heavy rain there across the Gulf Coast. They need it. Um, and even some heavy rain there and look in Southern California, maybe an inch, inch and a half uh, around the Los Angeles area. So we'll see about that. It'll be their first significant rain. We look at uh, six-day snowfall trends here again. Uh, not much here in the six-day one. The Sierras are going to definitely get their first big bout of snow. It's next week that we want to look into. So about out two, two weeks here looks like it's going to get very snowy. You can see that here, week ending uh, on the 25th, again, Thanksgiving week. Here in the U.S., about 2.8 warmer than last year, warmest in three years, uh, ninth warmest in um, 38 years. Snowfall off the scale, uh, so not much last year. And again, this year, number one snowies in 38 years. We'll see about this. Uh, Precip snow map there left is uh, a little bit overdone probably. Probably not going to see that much snow in uh, uh, South Dakota, Nebraska. See some for sure, but uh, maybe not this high. But uh, the net net is it looks like to be a very snowy week in the Pacific Northwest, Northern Rockies, Northern Plains as a strong cold front comes through. Uh, so this will end the, the big warm-up that we have here across the U.S. Uh, so rainfall up about 94%. Um, what is the nine years? Eighth, what is in 38 years? We look at uh, early outlook. Now, this is uh, Thanksgiving Thursday here. So you can see that cold front's pretty much uh, almost off the East Coast here. So uh, pretty much uh, almost a nationwide cool down here uh, as we go from this really warm pattern here. We start off very cold in the uh, first two days of November. And then the chart there shows you've got a big warm up this past week and big warm up these next 10 days or so. And then it starts to cool off briefly uh, again around that Thanksgiving weekend. 
And a preset map right there is again, again showing some of that snow. So it could be a tricky travel days, again, for the week leading up to, you know, the days before Thanksgiving here. So plan travel accordingly because it could be pretty, pretty stormy. If we look at the World Two-Week Outlook here, again, this is for the 12th through 21, 5, 25th period here. Um, cool spot again. You see some of that cold weather in uh, northwest Canada spilling into the northwest. Again, this is going from hot to cold, so it's a, a little misleading. But the heat's certainly dominating here the next 10, 15 days. Warm across Europe, pretty much warm everywhere. Typical El Nino and wet. We're starting to definitely see the atmospheric response to El Nino because we're definitely seeing much, much wetter conditions um, across Europe, the U.S., um, snowy across Siberia. Now, that's a bellwether for, uh, for our winter. If they can lay down a ton of snow as they've been doing here in October, November, um, that usually leads to colder, snowier conditions here in North America as well. And again, we just look at the six-day, um, actually, this is a two-week snowfall outlook here. So this is uh, on a higher scale here, but you can see those purples are getting up there in the two feet plus range. And so a lot across Siberia, uh, northern Canada, northeast Canada. And again, look at all that moving into the U.S. as well. So with that, folks, we hope a great week. Uh, we'll be back here again this time next week.